Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the Mark 1 update to my Rook 180 3D printer. This is now called Bastion. Huge thanks to Canrog for updating this printer to the Mark 1 version. Thank you to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. Did you know that PCBWay offers more services than PCBs? They do CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding. Let's take a look at the 3D printing. Here we can upload one of the Bastion STL files. Let's do the belt lock. As you can see, we can choose the material type, the quantity, we can even choose colors, and we get an instant quote. For your next project, definitely check out PCBWay at PCBWay.com. There's a lot of really cool uh, quality of life features with this printer and let's take a walk around in the printer and kind of show it off. I have queued up a print there. You can see the bed is heating up right now. This printer does have three independent Z motors. So it can do clipper tilt, Z tilt, just like a Voron Trident would. So fully independent and it can level the bed itself. We have four 12 millimeter smooth rods. Those are the Z and also part of the frame of the printer. What we did for the Mark I update was essentially we made the actual frame easier to print. So all these parts here are much easier to print, much less supports. There is still support needed for the motor pods up here, but a lot of the support has been taken out from the frame. This is using a Meanwell 200 power supply. And then we have a mount back there for the Monster 8. This printer does use all smooth rods for motion. And a really nice benefit, this now uses the Dragon Burner tool head by Chirpy. So this is a really cool tool head, supports a lot of different extruders and hot ends. I am using the Bamboo Labs X1 hot end in this printer. It's inexpensive and works perfect for this printer. The belt path has also been updated, so it's much more uh, clean and normal. We have our tensioners here. The load of the tensioners is spread out onto two bolts. So we have our two front tensioners there as well. You can see the Bastion logo. You can actually uh, print out a little inset piece here with an accent color if you would like. This printer does use a Prusa mini bed. So on the bill of materials for this printer, I do have the Fisec Prusa mini bed. So overall, there, there was just a lot of quality of life stuff done with this printer. You can see this printer now uses heat sets instead of M3 nuts. We are now gonna home the printer. This printer does use BL Touch, which you can see back there. So this is meant to be kind of an inexpensive, user-friendly build. It's pretty unique in the fact that most of the printing is uh, totally 3D printed. We can see we are going to do clipper Z tilt right now. So it is probing the three corners and then it will automatically level the bed. You can see that drop the front of the bed down. And it'll run through that sequence a couple times to make sure that the bed is nice and level. This of course is fully belted Z. Also for the Bastion version, the tensioner has been moved up to the idler, which is much easier to use. So the motors just bolt in with four screws on each corner there. And then we have a M3 bolt up here to tension the belts. Very, very easy to uh, tension those belts and use. So you can see here it's going around just doing a couple rounds to make sure it can get the bed as flat as possible. And now it is level. Now the printer is heating the hot end up. So I have built a config file for this printer, which is now on printables. And I have also uploaded my Orca profile as well. So 
The printer's kind of ready to go dialed in with that config as long as you're using the Monster 8 board, which you can see down there. And then of course, um, I'm using a direct drive extruder. I'm using uh, the HGX Lite extruder in particular on this version. And because the frame is 3D printed, you wanna make sure that you dial in your um, motor current. So I am running these motors relatively cool. This printer is not meant for crazy speed. You can push it as far as you'd like. I generally use around 5,000 acceleration and, you know, 150 millimeters a second with 250 travel moves. It's definitely a very capable printer. And if you were to build this printer brand new, it's around 370 USD. So it's a pretty good price for this. Um, honestly, I would recommend anyone building one of these is to recycle used parts. So if you have used parts lying around, used motors, main boards, that type of thing, you can really bring the cost of this printer down. But with the cheaper Bamboo Lab hot end and the cheaper HGX extruder, you have a very capable clipper machine that you can build yourself, mod, tweak, that type of thing. So yeah, that's kind of the uh, rundown here of the Bastion 3D printer. Let me know what you guys think in the comment below. There's a lot more projects and new printers coming on the channel and I'm excited to bring them to you. So definitely feel free if you'd like to support me on Patreon, I'll have my link below and um, I'll catch you all next time.